You don't like that, Bill? <laughs> All right, questions for BY. Let's start with Jake and then go to Jimmy. Byron, it seems like you've been more and more just a consistent presence in the backfield. You've gotten more uh, pressures in the last couple of weeks. What's it been like to, to kind of see your progression and get more comfortable in this defense? Uh, it felt really great to be back and stuff like that. I feel really comfortable right now. Uh, I feel like I'm back on my, you know, back on camp, back on camp level. So yeah, I feel, I feel great. Uh, two part one. How, how challenging was it to chase around Matt Corral? And then how challenging will it be going against Alabama's Bryce Young, who's also pretty mobile? Uh, it was pretty challenging. You know, he was really a um, running quarterback. He could do both. So, like, um, we were expecting him to pass more. But, you know, when he got open, uh, seeing he ran it a little bit. Uh, Bryce Young is a little different. He more of a pocket passer. So, we, you know, you know, we're looking for the run. But, most, you know, most times he just stay in the pocket. Yeah, sitting in film, what have you seen him uh, from this offensive line you're about to go up against, the tackles and some of the opportunities there for you? Uh, it's a really pretty good offensive line. Um, I feel I see a lot of opportunities for me to um, you know, rush the quarterback, but it's going to be a, a bigger challenge this week with the uh, tackles. Byron, you talked about being in, in sort of uh, camp mode or being back to your camp level. Um, what, what do you see as, as the reason for that, and maybe what's the next step that you want to take as a player? Uh, no, I feel like I just settled in. Um, you know, starting off, had two games off. I felt like I, you know, kind of had me rested a little bit. But now, since you know, I already been got a few games under my belt, I feel like I, you know, back on that level of camp. You know, with the speed and everything, um, I feel like I, I adjust to the defense way better now. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. How long did it take? Feel like it took you to get back into the groove? Was it, a, was it a first game or two that you didn't feel right, or how, how long did it take? It was probably the first two games after that. Um, I felt like I got back to myself at the Mizzou game. Well, during Mizzou game, I said that's when I started to kind of turn it up a little bit. Uh, Theo Jackson said he played 101 snaps. How many snaps did you play? Uh, 57. How did you feel after that? Uh, I felt Really, I felt great. I felt better than I expected. Um, like, I was kind of used to the up-tempo team, so, like, um, that wasn't really a big issue. But I felt great. You feel like practicing against up-tempo helped you in that regard? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I already knew what to, you know, expect. So, um, it wasn't really a big deal about that. Back to Ryan. What have you seen from Omari Thomas lately? It looked like he had a, he had a pretty good game Saturday night. Uh, yeah, I've seen he really elevated his game. Um, I see, you know, really hard to stop him uh, getting through, um, getting through the, uh, the guards and stuff like that, getting vertical and everything like that. He really showed up a lot big against Ole Miss. Byron, I think a lot of people, when, when they think about the, the Alabama game coming up, they'll, they'll think about it as a challenge. But do you see it more as an opportunity for, for this program? I mean, you all have been close in games like this, I mean, is this an opportunity for y'all? Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, I feel like it's an opportunity for us to see what we've you know, been working on and stuff like that. You know, we you know, we work hard every day. So, like, it's going to be a pretty good challenge and opportunity for us to, you know, show the world what we got. Eric has been. You guys, as a defense, have been really good against running backs uh, this year. You got a good one coming up on Saturday. What have you seen from him in, in film? What makes him so, uh, so good this year? Uh, he really a, he's both he's a power back and a speed back, so like he he run hard and usually you don't just tap him on the first tap. Like you really gotta wrap him up and tackle him. So um he's from versus the other backs we went against, he's really bigger, uh, stronger and faster. Byron Saturday was your first true Neeland experience. Just what'd you think of it and, and did it live up to the hype? Oh definitely it did. Um it was a great experience, like I never seen it like that before, you know. I seen on you know videos and stuff like that, but I never seen a night game and stuff like that. How the crowd was, it was it, the energy was there. I loved it. Brian, I think you in, in your five games have started to add tackles for loss, hurries. Did you kind of view yourself as a guy that could impact the game that way? And how much pride do you take in being a guy that can disrupt the other team? Uh, I, I did view myself as that way. Um, Honestly, a guy that could rush the pass in, you know, that sort of way. But tackle for a loss, um, like I told you earlier, I had to practice on my um, the run. You know, I really, you know, 
chasing the quarterback and stuff like that, but I was practicing hard on the run, and I got way better at that. So um, I view myself as a guy that could do both. Anything else for Big in, in, a, in addition to your tackles for loss, you guys are second in the nation in tackles for loss. What do you attribute that to? Um, just every day, uh, Coach Gardner just working us every day. Like every day, he you know have us on hills. You know, no days off. You know, working. You know, every day. That I knew it was you know it was gonna pay off in the long run. So now it's just paying off, and we just cashing in. Byron, even for you and, and, and the rest of the newcomers, you know, your, your first career road game at Tennessee came in the swamp. So, I mean, as tough as it is to play at Brian Denny, especially at night, do you feel like going down to Florida and having that be the first game kind of helps a little bit so nothing will really shock you Saturday? Uh, yeah, it did help a little bit. Um, you know, going to Florida and stuff like that is a you know, tough team. So, like, you know, the crowd was there and everything. So, like, that did help. Okay. Baron, you mentioned the kind of that switch in your mind flip during the Mizzou game whenever you started to, to feel it a little more. Can you go back to the, the specific play or kind of what went through your mind? Well, it was really just Coach Gardner. He was just telling me I got to go. Like, he was um, – he, he talked to me. He said, I know you had, you know, some time off. You had to wait, but now we need you to, you know, pick it up and go. You know what I'm saying? So he told me that. He talked to me. And, you know, since then I just started thinking and saying, you know, you're right. So I just started, you know, taking play by play and trying my best. You know, do the best I could do for the team. Thanks, Big Thank you. Thank you.